Hello, everyone. I am Abhishek, and I'm pretty excited today to share with you a formula to forge a more secure future for open source using standards, automation, and AI. So let's get started. Open source is a global community, and we at Google are playing an important role in nurturing it. We helped build the very foundations of open source security by being one of the founding members of the OpenSSF Foundation and are also a key sponsor for the Alpha Omega project. Together with you all, we incubated and maintain several key projects like Salsa, Sixture, Scorecards, OSV Schema, to name a few. And as part of the Alpha Omega project, we helped fund several critical foundations like Python Software Foundation, OpenJS, Rust Foundation, so they can build a more secure platform for their open source users. So what's our vision for the future look like? Today, we will touch base on three key elements that we believe will drive real meaningful change in open source security. The first one is standardization. As you all know, open source is a very vibrant garden of innovation with a lot of diverse languages, tools, and frameworks. But with this fragmentation brings in security challenges, which often leads to inconsistent application of security best practices. Hence, we need common usable standards to bring down this risk of consuming open source. And this is especially important for critical infrastructure and applications. Think of like nation's power grid and water plants. When we say standardization, we don't mean formal standards like the IETF, but actually we mean de facto standards that are widely accepted and adopted by the community at scale. And we have two great examples to showcase you today. The first one is the Salsa framework, where we worked with more than a dozen industry partners like Red Hat, IBM, Intel, Microsoft, and several others, and the community to create a framework which a developer can use to incrementally improve their supply chain security posture. The second success story we have is the OSV vulnerability schema. This is now adopted by more than 20 language and OS ecosystems and they now export all of their vulnerabilities in this very precise, machine-readable, and easily editable format. Thanks to the standardized format, we are now able to aggregate more than 150,000 open source vulnerabilities and provide to everyone globally with a single API call. So what's next for standardization? While there are several things we could do here, one idea that stands out with potential high impact is the standardization of the build and test schemas. This should be agnostic of the programming language and the execution environment. Our overall goal here is for anyone in the world to be able to build your open source project from the project source code in a highly trusted environment. They shouldn't need to consume untrusted binaries built on developer laptops. And this will also enable a community of curators who can provide you trusted OSS packages, but with verifiable security attestations. So we are pretty excited about this idea, so let's nurture it together. The second element I will talk today is something that is very near and dear to my heart. In fact, this has been a guiding principle for most of my work at Google, is automation. We want automation to reduce the manual toil 
that our open source developer experiences every day. This includes the toil in managing complex security configurations. This includes the toil in integrating new security tools. And this includes the toil in day-to-day -day security maintenance work, like security triage. So our ideal goal is to make all of the parts of SDLC automated. While I'm super proud of all the work we have done so far together, when we look closely from our developer's perspective, we are still providing a rather disjoint and incomplete security story. An open source developer today has to integrate a lot of these security tools or these security rail cars in various areas like continuous scanning, security health monitoring, and others, and incorporate it in different parts of the security development lifecycle. This has a steep learning curve, and they have to keep up to date on all the different tools that are coming in the market. Instead, our goal should be to provide an integrated platform, something in the form of a tool suite that automatically orchestrates various security tools in different parts of the SDLC. This should include both existing world-class tools, but also should have easy pluggability for new ones. And this can help us get an end-to-end -end supply chain security. Also, over the last decade, we as a community have made some amazing open source security tools. For example, in the area of continuous scanning, we have tools like OSS Fuzz for fuzzing. We have tools like CodeQL for static code analysis. We have tools to evaluate the project security code health with tools like Dev API and scorecards. We have tools to attest to build integrity with Salsa and Sixture. And our latest tool in the pack is OSV Scanner, which provides you prioritized vulnerability remediation for known vulnerabilities in your dependency trees. That's a lot of amazing work, but it's not done yet. We don't have great tools, for example, in the space of dependency management. And as you all know, for large projects these days, they suffer from a complex web of dependencies. And they don't have great controls around dependency ingestion and find it pretty hard to keep them up to date without breaking program functionality. So a lot more we could do there. The third element we will talk today is AI. AI is something that everyone is talking about these days. It has the true potential to revolutionize security. But we also need to understand its current limitation as it stands today. It can be a great security enabler, but lacks in comparison to a human security expert with very deep contextual understanding. We have seen some really great results with AI when we can augment its prompts and training with more context and also add a verification step at the end that can validate the results. So if there are any inaccuracies, we can feed it back to the LLM to autocorrect itself. We have been able to successfully productionize AI in the area of fuzzer unit testing. For folks that don't know fuzzing, it's a process of sending millions or potentially billions of inputs to a target program and testing for its behavior, usually to uncover memory corruption or other class of vulnerabilities. However, fuzzing has an inherent limitation that after a few hours or days of fuzzing, it might not cover any new code. And hence, it wouldn't discover 
any new vulnerabilities in that uncovered code. So we have been able to take AI's help in overcoming that code coverage barrier. We give it the fuzzer unit test, and along with it, we provide it additional context in the form of control flow graphs from LLVM IR, and also the coverage information from the past runs. This is an example of a popular XML parser, Tiny XML2. The boxes in blue are the code suggestions from AI. And using those, we have been able to augment its code coverage by another 30%. Another interesting area of application of AI in the early stages is the area of vulnerability analysis and patching. We are seeing some early promising results in the area of vulnerability analysis, where instead of giving a developer just a crash stack trace and letting them struggle for hours or potentially days of debugging, we can talk back to them in plain English, explain them the root cause of the bug, give them the technical details. And this has been possible because we capture some very precise information in our OSS First community service. We capture things like what CL or code change introduced the bug. We are also able to uh, know the entire source code so we can pass it to the LLM. Another interesting area is the area of vulnerability patching that is still in active research, so we look forward to all of you, to the community collaboration to advance it. So let's recap. I see a very bright future for open source security ahead. Our overall goal here is to reduce the mundane work that an open source developer does every day and instead create enjoyable security experiences. We can do that by first simplifying and applying these security best practices consistently using these common usable standards. Second, we want to create an integrated platform that seamlessly integrates and automates day-to-day -day developer workflows. And finally, we want to leverage the power of AI to accelerate security innovation and make it highly efficient. Thank you.